Good morning, everybody, and happy Monday. How can it be Monday morning. already? I know, the weekend went far too fast. Uh, have you got Monday blues today, or are you okay? Yeah. You got Monday, Monday blues? blues? Always Monday no, blues. No, I'm all right this Monday. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Must have been a bad weekend then. No. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, no it wasn't a bad weekend. It's no. a good weekend. It's, it's good. Valentine's good. weekend. Yeah, did you have a romantic one? We did, yes. Yeah. Well, you know, as romantic as you get when you're married with three children. Yeah. You know, but yes. What about you lot at home? Did you have a lovely weekend? Nice Were present. you spoiled? We'd love to know. We'd yeah. love to know because Valentine's Day once a year. Did you get spoiled? Got a card. It was a handmade card though. Oh, sorry. I was nice. waiting for the no, and day. No. Oh, no flowers. No. Just the card. It was a nice card with loads of pictures of us and the kids. Oh, that's nice. So yeah, not just an off-the-shelf No, no, it card, was made. But, yeah. yeah. Well, well done. So let us know. We would love to know. We'd absolutely love to know. Today we are going to be talking about car seats. We love car seats, don't we? We do. We are very, very passionate about car seats. So let's see who's joined us this morning. Good morning, Anna Brown. You were the quickest one this morning. Um, followed by Maria Runoff and Amory Chambers. And Franco Romeo, oh, nice little picture. Look, morning, have a little morning sunrise. How lovely is that? And Joanne Gum, good name, Joanne. Um, Emma Hall, uh, yeah, oh, Anna Brown got spoiled. Let us know what you got. We would love to know. Heidi Smith sounds very chirpy this morning. Good morning with lots of exclamation marks. So thank you very much for joining us this morning. If you've hit share, thank you very much. Today we are going to be talking about Cybex. Cybex now, if yeah. you join us regularly, you will know that we are big Cybex fans. We talk about their, we've had their push chairs on, car seats, their accessories. Just before Christmas, we did, we had snow, didn't we? And gave away some Cybex uh, car seat Winter and push chair yeah. accessories. And if you saw our Facebook page last week, we took the Priam out, the Cybex Priam out with its skis and filmed it through the snow. So. We tried to do it last year, but last year there was like that much snow, so yeah, <laughs> it not, didn't really work, did yeah, it? Yeah, I bet there are some countries better equipped for skis. Yes, I think so. Or I, areas. In, but it was really good UK. fun. We went outside. It started to snow. I was lucky because I was all wrapped up warm. And but who did you not wrap up? I know, poor baby David. Where is he? You've not brought him. Oh, I've left him. He's in. He's in one of the cots out there. Poor baby David. You know, we haven't bought his coat, so we got a few comments on there saying, look at that poor baby. Baby David is plastic, so don't worry. Baby David did not complain he during the filming. He had a hat and scarf on. He Just did. no blanket. He no had your hat on, didn't he? He did, yeah. And in fact, I was nice and snug and warm because I had the nice hand mitts from Cybex on the pream as well. It was the poor cameraman I felt sorry for. Poor Jose, our cameraman, because you can't really wear gloves when you're doing a camera, apparently. Doing a camera. Doing a camera. <laughs> It's a technical term. <laughs> yeah, I could see his fingers slowly getting bluer and bluer and bluer, and he never complained once. Neither did baby David. No. And the cameraman's not made of plastic. because so. he's got hypothermia. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. So, today we have got an <clears throat> awesome prize, a brand new car seat to market, yep. haven't we? So, do you want to tell us a bit more about our prize? And to enter, all you need to do is join in with the chat this morning. Any questions you've got, if you've hit share, Thank you very much. We really, really appreciate it. Do tell us so we can say thank you. Um, all you've got to do is comment and join in with the chat so we don't feel like we're on our own on this Monday morning. So, Kelly, do you want to tell us a little bit more about our amazing prize today? So this is the Cybex Palace G I-Size. So it's an I-Size tested seat. It's their first um, I-Size Shield Group 123 seat. So it goes from... 76 centimetres, which is a um, minimum of 15 months because it's eye size regulation cause, and just forward facing. 15 months up to 150 centimetres, which should take you at least to 12 years. So we've got lots of people. Sophie Presho, I hope I've said that right, says, love Cybex. Yes, Cybex yeah. are so well known for their car seats, aren't they? Yeah, they are. So um, now I'm going to go straight into, I know we will get some comments because it is a shield seat and some people hate shield seats. Um, uh, so we're not saying, either us or Cybex, that um, forward facing is the best option for your child. Uh, we know rear facing is safer for any child. Um, but there are lots of parents out there, we see it in store all the time, that want to forward, their forward, forward face their child as soon as possible. Yeah, 
and it is about choice, isn't it? Yeah, and we absolutely. Always, Freedom of choice. We always, always say this, you know, we will talk about rear facing till the cows come home, quite yeah. frankly. And, you know, we, we are always going to give people that information, but people do choose to forward face their child at an earlier stage. Yeah. And if we're going to forward face our children, we need to find the best options. There's a number of different things, something that's going to suit you, something that's going to suit what your decisions as parents, your budgets, and also your car and yeah. your child, because there are instances when a shield seat is going to work incredibly well for some families. Yeah. So particularly my friend, she had a little girl who could quite easily unbuckle her harness. So obviously it wasn't safe for her. Um, or her parents or her little sister in the car. Either. And you so, do panic about that, don't you? Yeah. Once your child learns to unbuckle yeah. their seat. It's quite seat, hard to get them to start. It is yeah. very, very hard. A few hard. things you can try, obviously, you can try stopping the car every time. You can try putting a little bit of Velcro onto the buckle. That apparently, they don't like that. Um, but yeah, sometimes going into a shield seat, which they can't physically get to themselves, is a much safer option than them keep escaping their harness. And you, uh, when you are travelling along the motorway, you can't stop to re-buckle your child no. in, can Straight you? Straight in, no. Some children will get out of that habit very, very quickly. Other children, it's just nigh on impossible, isn't it? Mm. And particularly children, once they've got it, I, two of my children I could reason with, but my third, my youngest, you know, she does have additional needs, so she couldn't process that, why she shouldn't undo her buckle. I can do it, so I'm gonna yeah, do it. Yeah, I can do it, so why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. So for parents like that as well, it's another really good um, option. So how the shield works, it kind of works like an airbag over the child. It's quite a large um, area for them to then naturally uh, roll, over the fo uh, roll over the seat and it reduces the neck injuries by 40% as opposed to a harnessed forward facing that's seat. a big difference, isn't yeah. it? 40% yeah. compared to a similar seat that is harness so with a harness obviously child is is restricted here and then any movement is going to be the neck that moves i could be a harness, harness look so in if I, i'll pretend to be a harness right i'm a harness just imagine i'm a harness so in a harness seat there's a lot of pressure and a lot of force on their head and their neck and just across that, their shoulders be isn't move, it because yeah. this bit is all kept stationary yeah. with your shield it's a bit like a hug yeah so the pressure is dissipated <clears throat> across the whole of the torso as opposed to just on your neck. Yeah. So it's that's like where the 40% well, comes from, the, isn't it? You know in um, parkour, the, the guys and, and ladies that jump Never tried it personally. Never had a go. No, But no. How, they, how they drop and roll, they, they curl forwards. It's kind of the same natural movement to, to when it's the forces, the energy forces. We're going to pop. <laughs> I'm going to call him Chucky because he is quite scary. So you can use We're it like pop said, Chucky in, in a moment to show you. centimetres, which is uh, 15 months. So once they reach both of those as a minimum, you can then use the seat. And it's important to keep reiterating, this is an eye size seat, so it's yeah. gone through the latest testing, hasn't it? Yeah, it uses the latest Chucky. dummies with quite a lot of sensors all over the dummy, which can test um, what forces are actually on the child. So they just get popped in the seat. This is adjustable, so obviously it can go way up for a taller child using a high back booster. You want to make sure the bottom of the headrest is about level or a maximum of two centimetres. Then all you do, so the nice thing about this, previous um, shield seats have been using the vehicle seat belt to um, secure it, but this actually uses a buckle on either side, meaning you can just leave one side completely plugged in all the time. Really quick and easy then to pop the shield over the child. We've got lots of love for the Cybex brand. I think lots and lots of people- And clip in this side. Have seen, and lots of people are, know about particularly their infant carriers and their Cloud Z. We're gonna look at some of the other Cybex seats in a moment. We're just looking at our prize this morning because it's brand new to market. Yeah. And then once that's safely tucked into these two places, these little areas to tuck it into there, you can then tighten, push and tighten sufficiently so that baby has got enough, uh, the child has got enough room and is kept nice and secure in there. So then, in a collision, they will naturally. It's a, this doll. I don't think is quite um, lifelike because this sits a little bit higher. Than him, <laughs> he is not quite lifelike. It's as close as we can get. We would have had <laughs> real children in, but apparently we're not allowed yeah. during COVID. No. So that's how easy it is. I think it's probably easier to secure with that and quicker than a harness because obviously you need to make sure 
that everything is correct and then tighten. And if you've got a wiggly harness, child. Yeah, but straight over and tighten. So obviously we would advise rear face for as long as you possibly can. Um, to 15 months as a minimum to four years if you can as well. But this, if you do decide to forward face, this gives you an option to forward face and keep your child safer. So we've got a few questions coming in. I think people yeah. have seen the way that we have the belt across here, but what about fixing the actual seat to the car? So the seat is fixed with Isofix and top tether. And see there, you've got your Isofix points and then your green indicator to let you know that it's attached. And then you've got your top tether Usually this point is in your car and then you tighten it until you see your green as well. So that bit is in your boots. Now yeah. lots of people are not sure about top tether straps, uh, top tether points, are they? No. If you look in your manual, <coughs> you will see where they are located. The majority of cars have now have top tether points. Mine's an old not car, all. 2006, and has um, three points in my car. Yeah, so you do need to make sure that if you go for this seat, that you have Isofix and, and top, tether. top tether. You can't yeah. just say, well, I'm not going to fit the um, <coughs> top tether or I'm not going to fit the Isofix. You must have both for these seats. Yeah, absolutely. So that's it fitted. It's got a few extra features on as well. The sides auto can uh, move in and out. They've got some flexibility, which helps with the energy in a, in a collision. But also, if you are um, fitting more than, um, say, three seats across, it does um, in decrease the width a little bit as well. These are your LSP, which is your linear side impact protection. Philippa Hunt was just asking that question. Yes. Do they have side impact protection like yes. the Serona? Yes. So these are on the side here. These also can be removed if you needed to, if you if it stops your car door closing, or if again, if you're doing three across on the back row. But it is more um, efficient working with them on 20%. Um, it actually reduces the forces by, so definitely worth having them on. Um, you just have to reach inside the seat and press a little button to remove them. But Amelia Marley has asked, does it need an Isofix base? Well, this is no, all, it doesn't have a it. separate base. It's all part of this seat. The Isofix arms are built into the bottom of the seat. You've also got um, features like their Painterton, Painterton, Patented. Patented. <laughs> painting. Are you painting <laughs> this morning? Let's just paint the background. <laughs> Patented um, recline headrest. You've got three positions and this helps um, just stop the head drop that some people get. So that's in the most reclined. And this automatically in a collision um, pulls up forwards and then is keeping the child in a more right position, which is safe for them in a collision. It's very But it clever. helps them, their head. <laughs> Chucky, Chucky's head's <laughs> not quite as flexible <laughs> as your child. Just pull out that. And as well, it does have a one hand recline as well. I've got, actually got it in the most recline position. So you've got it there and then just lift up. Even when they're in the seat, you can just lift. So when I was testing my three year old, I could just reach back and move it into a recline position with one hand as well. So what? You can use that as high back booster mode as well, which is handy. Cause yeah, there's not do that, that many well. seats that recline. Now, no. for this age. Now, with regards to head flop, it is something that as parents, we worry about all the time, don't we? Yeah. Do we need to? So when they're younger, um, newborn babies in an infant carrier is a problem because it can, their heads are very heavy, neck muscles aren't very strong. Oh, Ooh, flashing, flashing lights. Light. It's a sound. Oh, it's a sound. Yeah. <laughs> don't know whether you saw the flashing <laughs> lights there, but we're still here. We're still here. Um, so then it can be, um, an op it affects their oxygen and their breathing. So it is a problem. For younger babies but once they get to this stage, this is a minimum of 15 months it's not a problem if they do have head flop. we do worry about that it's don't just, we yeah. as parents they, but... they're more than capable at that age to then oh i'm uncomfortable and put their head back and children do sleep in the most bizarre positions don't they they are yeah. far more flexible than we are but yeah. i do like the fact that we've got the inbuilt recline on this seat but we've also got the head recline as well yeah yeah so double double whammy a double them. whammy on this so this is our prize today um, that we are giving away. This is the Cybex Palace G I size or yep. I size Palace G, which way around? Palace I G. Uh, Palace, <laughs> Palace G I size. <laughs> um, it's worth two hundred and fifty four ninety five, um, and there are eight colours, and the winner actually gets to choose their own colour as well. So eight colours. Somebody grey. did yeah. ask about colours earlier. Yeah. Sorry if I'm, I didn't miss that question. I was waiting for Kelly to talk about colours. Eight there's a deep colours. black, there's a magnolia pink, there's a navy, grey. There's always a grey. 
Always. Yes, always I a grey, always a black. And it's got this beautiful black. turquoise stitching on it as well. They've all got their, their stitching on, which looks beautiful in the car. So one of the questions we had earlier was, um, Emma Huff said, what age will this go up to? So it's 76 centimetres, uh, 15 months old, up to 150 centimetres, uh, a maximum of 50 kilos, which is way more than your standard R44 seats, which are 36 kilo maximum. Um, so should really last it for as long as you need to keep your child safe in a, in a high back booster. Now in the UK, children can come out of a high back booster, can't they, at 135 centimetres? Or 12 years, whichever they or reach Or 12 first. years, but this one goes up to 150 centimetres. Yeah. So really good if you've got a taller child. And, or, and maximum of 50 kilos. A taller, bigger child, yeah. or if you're travelling abroad, because different territories have different rules. Yeah. And if we go to France, in our UK car with our UK seat in it, we still have to meet the legal requirement yeah, there. You could still get fined. If yeah, you don't. we can still get fined. So that's quite a nice thing. I don't think parents think about that. No. The shield as well um, should last you to 105 centimetres, which is your average four year old, but it has also got a higher weight limit. So if you have got a child like mine that is a little bit on the heavier side, it goes up to 21 kilos as opposed to 18 kilos on your standard harness or your standard impact shield. Your chubber, you normally call it. Chubber, don't you? my little chubber. Your little yeah, so it's chubber. nice to still be able to test this seat with him at three years old. Usually he's rear facing. It's still at three, um, but for review purposes, um, he was in this seat with the, uh, with the impact shield and I could do that because it goes up to 21 kilos. Um, we've got lots of people saying amazing price. Philippa Hunt says eight colours, fab. Let us know. Do you go for black? Do you go for grey? Or do you go for something a little bit brighter? It's quite nice they have a pink. There's not many brands that do a no. pink seat. Yeah. And I think also once your child gets older, lots of parents include their child in the picket. They pick the seat and they include their child choosing the colour. So sometimes pink, yeah. if they, if they, you know, if, if that's going to make them more willing to sit, to sit in the seat. seat yeah, yeah definitely. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Natalie Missile says, a recline is a must for long journeys. Jodie Adams Womack says she would love to win and she has shared. Thank you very much, Jodie. Well, you already entered, Jodie, because you are passing comment as we are talking about the Cybex brand of car seats this morning. Olivia Blackburn says, how do you know when the impact shield is tight enough? So basically, let's, let's go back and do it again. So you want to loosen it when you're taking it off. It just makes it a little bit easier. So you just press the button on either side, whichever side you need to get, and then you just pop it over. It'll probably just sit on the vehicle seat next to you. Or Shall it be a seat? Be a seat. It's just I'll sit be a there. seat, look. Okay. So with the child in it, you just grab it. It's already shaped for them. Pull it over and tuck it into your little shapes pop it in and then just tighten just push it it's, it's firmly on them you're not going to squish them and then just tighten until you they don't need to anymore. squeal do they no but it and is, then that is then it is nice very intuitive isn't yeah. it you just very pull, very just intuitive pull until it's not it's not moving anywhere so lots of people never thought about the eu regulations traveling abroad mm. um thank you for the tip um, do the covers, Charlotte Adlard wants to know, do the covers come off for washing? Yes, removable and washable at 30 degrees. So as with any car seat, as you take them off, think about it so that you can put them on in the same way. If you get stuck, Google is your friend for putting covers back on. Yeah, you can definitely. always get in touch with us. So a two-in-one seat um, can last uh, potentially over 10 years. Um, and then you're using your impact shield up to 105 centimetres, maximum of 21 kilos. But then it will turn into your high back booster that is fitted with your vehicle seat belt. I'm just going to take this little one out because it's a little bit small for a vehicle seat belt. So poor we'll just, head. We'll just, just imagine. Head. Poor, poor little so you one. can see there, that's your maximum height. So you can see there where your 150 centimetres comes from as a high back booster because that is your lowest position all the way up to there. Hattie asks, really good question from Hattie Ashford this morning. If my son hits the height limit before the weight, what do we have to do in terms of car seats? On this car seat, yes. or just any car any seat? any car seat. So if they hit the maximum of any, it's time to then look at a new car seat. So it's a maximum for a reason. So it's not maximum of all of them. It's a maximum, it'll have a maximum height and then a maximum weight. So if they hit one of those, it's then time to look for a next stage car seat. So if, and again, with any car seat, whatever car seat you have, even if you've not purchased it from us, if you're unsure whether the little one is ready to move on to the next seat, do get in touch or ready to stop using a seat. 
what we would always say is max out your earlier seats. So max out your infant carrier um, before. Don't be in a rush to move them onto the yeah. next seat. And don't be in a rush to move them out of the high back booster onto your normal car seat. Just the vehicle seat, but yeah. You've still got your 100 recline in high back booster mode as well. And these are now green with it being an i size car seat. So you'll be used to seeing um, red like we've got on the um, older Palace B there, um, and also blue, like on this infant carrier with it being rear facing, um, but now it is green on your newer seats. And that's your belt guide, and then through your belt guide up here to keep it in the right One place. One of the questions is, why do the sides have so much movement, please? Why are they not really, really static? If they were, it wouldn't naturally bounce in a, and take the energy forces in a collision. So they are designed to move with your child reduction. in a collision. Yeah. So Kirsty Blondie Boutaz says, love this, what a fab prize. Thank you. Um, and uh, Gemma Lindley says, do all the colours have funky stitching like the grey? They do, yeah. Contrasting I like that, stitching funky on them stitching. All. I think we should funky be in. Stitching. Funky stitching. I want to sing, I wanna sing Funky Pigeon. Go on then, you carry no, on and sing no, Funky I'm Pigeon. We really, really Sounded don't like mind. like it needs to go with it. Carice Park has joined us this morning. Good morning, Carice. She says, can she fit this with a seatbelt as well, or do you have to have Isofix? You have to have Isofix in the top tether when using the impact shield. Um, you don't have to when using it in high back booster mode. You can just use it with a vehicle seatbelt, but you have to use it with the impact shield. So if you were using it from, um, with the impact shield and then using it for your high back booster, you might as well just leave it Isofix and top tethered in just to stop it going anywhere when baby is not in the, the child is not in the seat. Ruth Tripp has said, can we remind them what this seat is called, please? It's yes, called the Cybex Palace G I size. And it is an I size seat. Mm -hmm. And I size means it's gone through the most recent set of testing. Yeah. So if your budgets allow, we always recommend that you look for a seat that is an I size seat. Shall we have a look at something else? This is our prize today, so we're yes. going to keep coming back. We We've will. got our we'll lovely, leave. our lovely Chucky, who's demonstrating in the middle. Maybe we shouldn't call him Chucky. He may get a bit of a complex. What mm -hmm. do you think? Maybe. Should we swap? Do you want to swap places? Yeah. Let's move over. So on the rig here, I've got ready. Um, going to the other kind of the end of uh, the look beginning. Up, babe. Even, the, the beginning, end. not the beginning. The beginning. The beginning. You'll be under the scale, I meant. So, um, infant carrier. So this is your Cybex Cloud Z, really popular um, in store um, because of the extra features that it has that you don't see on some infant carriers. Um, you can belt fit it and you can also use it on the base set as we've got fitted here. Um, some of your uh, features, obviously your independent hood. It's got a newborn insert to use up to 40 centimetres. Three point harness and your adjustable headrest. And this goes from birth up to 87 centimetres, so it's quite a long-lasting infant carrier. It is a very, very long-lasting infant yeah. carrier, isn't it? Because the majority the don't go up to 87 no, centimetres. No, they can be anything from 75, 80, 85. And then this is quite a long-lasting one, which goes up to 87 centimetres. So, so that could be 15 to 18 months, depending on the size of your child. Which is is great, and it's a very, very clever seat as well, isn't it? It is, yes. And somebody very famous has got one of these. Did you see it in the papers over the weekend? I did, I posted about it. Princess Eugenie. Princess Eugenie's got one of those. Yeah, so it's good enough for her, her, you know. So the nice thing about this is your um, adjustable base, your swivel base even. So you just pull the um, triggers just at the side here, and then it allows you to swivel it to the car door side. So it makes it a lot easier once baby is too big to be getting, carrying in and out of the car, in their car seat. You can just swivel. It makes it a lot easier to get them in and out. The base is very clever. It knows that that's an infant carrier on there. It won't allow you to forward face it. It is just rear facing for the entire time you use it. But you can then use the next stage car seat, which is your Serona Z, on the same base. So you've got the option to swivel right the way from birth with your infant carrier. Once little one outgrows the infant carrier, they can move on to what a lot of people call the toddler seat, which will allow them you still to have a spin seat, a swivel seat, yeah. and will also allow them to rear face as the well. Time. Yeah. 
So your cloud Z um, is two hundred thirty nine ninety five, and your base Z is one hundred ninety nine ninety five. Um, again, you've got a selection of colours to choose from. It's 45 to 87 centimetres and a maximum, again, still weight of 13 kilos. And Danny asked about colours. Yes, Danny, we do all the different colours yep. as well and all the different designs because you can have some funky designs with Cybex, okay. can't you? Yep, special editions and collaborations that they've done. Like we said about the Palace G um, being a nice size seat, it's gone through the higher testing, so it's got your side impact on there. And you've got the same thing. You just pop out this one out either side which is at the door and that then passes the energy around the back of the seat rather than directly into the side of the child again 20 percent which is massive isn't it yeah. that little bit of plastic, plastic that you know no offense you know it it's kind of a bit you know, it moves a lot and you think can that really have that impact but 20 yeah. percent is massive so if you have a cloud z or any other car seat that you can adjust your side impact always make sure it's out on the car door yeah side. there are different seats that have that opportunity don't they you yeah. know it's not just the cybex seats no. but if your seat has got it make sure you are using it it's yeah. really important to use it so once baby outgrows this at 87 centimeters um it's easy to remove from the car anyway you can just lift up the the um Button at the front. Are we going to do its little party trick on the stroller? And what stroller? Oh, we haven't got a stroller. <laughs> yeah, Imagine a stroller. Yeah. I'll pop it now on my push chair. So 30 minutes um, time frame, newborn babies being in their car seat. But the Cloud Z actually reclines into a near flat position, meaning that you can actually travel for up to two hours instead. Only on your pushchair chassis or out of the car, not on the base. It has to be. But it's very clever, right. isn't it? Because yeah. if you've reclined your child in on the chassis of your pushchair, mm -hmm. you can't fit it on the base, can you? So no, you won't it wouldn't go fit. on here now. You can't do it. Wouldn't it. Let me do so it. you can't have baby brain because baby brain is real when you've had a yeah. child. I don't know when it goes away. I'll let you know. Watch this space. But you also can't belt fit it in, can you? Because we've got these little yeah. red. It pops out and stops you from doing it. So you can belt fit it in the car when it's upright and these then go in but as soon as you start pulling that it locks it off so you can't do it danny martin says she had this in gray for her first so very nice did um, you like it yeah we'd love to know make sure you send us photographs of these little ones in their seats we love them just about to buy for her new arrival too emily newton says she loves the science and the testing that's gone into these yes kelly and i find that's so interesting, don't yeah. we? We are so, so passionate about car seats and car seat safety. And we're the kind of retailers who want to know everything. I mean, the poor manufacturers, we bombard them with questions, don't we? And we've seen the rigs where everything's tested yeah. as well, which is really, really interesting. A little loud on your ears, but really, really car interesting. Car seat, Cybex, we travelled to Cybex um, headquarters in Germany, not last year, the year before. <laughs> not last year, while well, we're in the middle of a pandemic, know, yeah. no. <laughs> Um, and their facilities are amazing. The rigs, um, car seats get tested 600, 1,000 times just, just with them. And then obviously they go on to ADAC um, to be tested usually as well. So, yeah, they are put through their paces. So just a quick question. Somebody said about fitting the base and yep. different um, seats because all seats are different. Do you want me to take off so you can see the base? Oh, you can do. You have done. That is absolutely fine. Most of your Isofix bases are compatible with most cars, but if you are not sure, you do need to get in touch with, with us um, or the manufacturer, but come to us. We're more than happy to help you. But fitting your Isofix base is very easy. Once you know how to do yeah. it, it's very, very easy. Extend your arms, push it onto your Isofix points, and when they're connected, and they turn green and then push it so this is touching your vehicle seat then press the button to drop your leg down until you've got green indicator on the front as well you want it to be touching the seat vehicle seat don't overextend that leg which is sometimes very easy to do so whilst kelly pops that on there this is our prize today this is the cybex palace g i size seat all you need to do to enter our competition this morning is to join in with the chat. Ask us any questions you like about these car seats or car seats in general. We are more than happy to help. And we will be drawing the winner live at the end. So make sure that you uh, stay tuned with us. So we've got our little model here. We've named him Chucky, but I think maybe we need to rename him. Um, but he is very scary, isn't he? Is he yeah, as scary but... as David? 
it's those it's people his who... Hair. It's his hair. It is it? his hair. He's got lockdown hair. He's got lockdown hair. You know, he's really, really got lockdown hair. But as you can see, he is very, very comfortable in here. We can just get him to give you a little wave. His jumper's a little bit big, but, you know, we're, we're making sure it lasts when we can't get out to the shops at the moment. So we've had a look at this and we've had a look at the Cloud Z. So once the little one's moved out of your Cloud Z, lots of people, because they've got the base, will move on to the toddler seat. Yeah, so they? then can move on to this, but you can also use this from birth. So if you want to, this can be used from 76 to 105 centimetres, which is your average four-year-old. It has a newborn insert, so you can still use it in a full recline and swivel still as well. So you can use it from birth. Or you can go for the Serona S which is very much the same seat, but it's fixed. It doesn't come off the base. This is connected because you've no need to take it off because you're not going to put, um, it's not modular, so you would use it. So you can still use it from 76 to 105 centimetres, rear facing the all, all the time, or you can choose to forward face after at least 15 months as well. Donna Dane said you make fitting the Isofix look so easy, Kelly. It is easier on the rig as well. That's yeah. one thing to point out. I'm not in a car struggling to get your sure fixed points. They're right there so I can see them. Um, but yeah, it is really easy. Just extend your Isofix arms, attach. You might need uh, find it easier to use your Isofix connectors, which just opens up the fabric to get to those bars easier. Then drop your leg down. And as long as all your indicators are green, you've done it safely. Green is good to go. Okay. Green is good to go. Debbie Vernon says, have I missed you talking about the palace? Well, you have, Debbie, but don't worry. We're going to come, come back, back to, to that in a moment. So don't panic if you've missed it. Hannah Hill says the baby is so cute. Oh, she thinks it's cute. Cute. I think, I think it's scary. So like I said, newborn insect, so you can use this from birth right up to 105 centimetres as well. Arabella would like to call swivel. Chucky Darren. I'm going to call him Darren. Call him Darren. whatever you like. And then that's it in your rear facing position as well. I know it's not quite right uh, with it being like that on the floor. So this is the Serona S, S, which works in a very similar way to your Serona Z. So it's going to be a cheaper yeah. price point. So it works point. cheaper, yeah. So you, your Serona S, um, RRP is 299.95 base built into it, but you can get it from about 260, whereas your Serona Z is 269.95 and then your base is 199.95. So Obviously great if you've already got the base from your infant carrier. Yep. But then if you're not wanting to choose the infant carrier first and go from a, a, a fixed car seat in the car all the time, you can go for the Serona S is a much better option really. Because it's still eye size. As we spoke about earlier, it is about parental choice. Not everybody will have an infant carrier. No. And there is a misconception that you have to have an infant carrier to get your child home from hospital. Which is just not true. What you have to have is a seat that is suitable for a newborn baby in your car so if you have a seat like this that goes from birth but you obviously are not going to take this up onto your maternity ward because it's no. a seat that stays in your car yeah we would always recommend you put your instruction booklet in your hospital bag with you everybody's got mobile phones snap a picture of your car seat, seat fitted, yeah. fitted in your car then you've got the evidence that you do have a seat that is suitable for your child still just take your push chair upstairs and then they won't let you just carry baby out still so it's more about carrying them down safely as well so make sure that you've got um your push chair upstairs you can lay baby in your carry cot and then take them safely to the car there we go so this seat is going to take little one all the way to what kind of age, the Serona Z? So 105 centimetres is your average four-year-old. It's got a maximum weight as well of 18 kilos, um, a harness seat forward and rear facing. But if you've got this seat, we would always recommend that you keep little one rear, rear facing, facing for yeah. as long as possible. Yeah. Just like your infant carrier as well, you've got the side protection, yeah. haven't you? So you just pop the sides out either side. You Depending which the side it is your adjustable harness which goes up and then shows it suitable with the newborn insert removed obviously up to a higher position for your four-year-old in there instead legs can just go here they can put them up here they can cross them they've still got plenty of they're legs. far more flexible than we are aren't yeah. they children and yeah. i think we think oh we might be a bit uncomfortable but actually children like their legs supported as opposed to dangling, dangling down. Yeah. It's like sitting on a bar stool. It actually becomes quite uncomfortable after a little while. Same for us. So Sophie Lack says she thinks they will go for the Serona S straight from birth this time. Yeah. And going to skip the baby carrier. Yeah. Yeah. Different people like different things. I think your baby carrier, if you're nipping into your doctor's surgery for a quick appointment 
or you're just nipping to get milk or something like that, it is very, very useful. It's just easy to abuse it and have baby in it yeah. too long. That's where you kind of don't want to be using the infant. And I think that's the big thing to remember. The, the, the bottom line is you push chairs for pushing, your car seats for the car. Yeah, but there so are times when having that crossover, it. Yeah. it is very, very Handy. useful. Um, you can also get different infant carriers um, from Cybex. So if you don't want to go for the all singing, all dancing, um, Cybex Cloud Z, this is the Aton MI size. So um, quite a bit cheaper. So this is 159.95. Still goes from birth, 45 to 87 centimetres the same. It's a nice size tested seat. You can often get it in um, like your, your gold bundles. Yeah. Um, so like your Balios S Lux or your Cybex um, Gazelle. Sophie well. Shopland says she missed the start. Don't panic, Sophie. We will post this back on our wall on Facebook and we will also put it on our YouTube channel as well. So it's here for possible. Prosperity. I can't blah, blah, blah. Can get my words out there. Same side impact. You've got newborn inset in there. Independent hood with your plastic um, edge there to keep it a nice shape. And that's your Aton M I size. And the base you use that on is the base M, which is 164.95. And you can also put the next stage seat, which is your Serona M2 I size, which is 209.95. I'm checking prices because I'm rubbish with the prices. No, that's absolutely yeah, fine. So it's, it's kind of like the cheaper version, still I size, but it doesn't have all the features. So it hasn't got a swivel base, doesn't have your lay flat um, function, but it's, it's a different price point. It's more of your traditional infant carrier yeah. that people think about, whereas this one is kind of your all singing, all dancing infant yeah. carrier that spins, that will go to a heart. You can have a taller child in it, an older Same, child with it. Oh, both eight to seven, yeah. beg your pardon. So we've had a look at sort of the, some of the from birth options here. Um, shall we have a look at something else? Okay. Oh, Ruth Tripp says, how many different seats can fit on that base? Just the two seats. Yeah. And that is a very, very common question that people say, I've got the Cybex base for my infant carrier. Can I put a maxi cozy seat on it? Or yeah. no, you'll see your bases are all designed and safety tested for a particular seat. You will find that other seats do not fit on anyway, no. but they are all designed and safety tested for another yeah, seat. Yes, so we couldn't pop um, the Aton MI size onto this base. It's just the Cloud Z or the Serona Z that will fit on here. You've also got the base Z1, which is the same um, and accepts the same two seats, but it doesn't have the swivel function. So again, makes it a little bit cheaper. So um, we'll come back to the Palace in a moment. A few people asking about the Palace G, but we're yep. going to come back to that in a moment. So just uh, bear with us for a moment. Debbie says she's thinking of going for the Serena Z to follow on, follow on from the Cloud Z, yep. but she's waiting to hear about the Palace again. Um, so we'll yep. move on to that in a moment. Thank, Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Today we are talking about the Cybex brand and their car seats. You may know that they also do some really quite cool push chairs. The Priam, for example, also the Mios, you've got your Gazelle, you've the got your Balios. Yeah, Gazelle's really cool, so we'll yeah. make sure we get Gazelle in very, very soon. We've got an amazing prize today. It's an eye-size seat. Those of you who join us regularly for our car seat chats, which often are on a Monday, we love eye size, don't we? It's the latest set of testing. Yeah. Historically, car seats were tested front and rear impact, but now eye size, in a nutshell, and very simply put, it's front and rear impact, also side impact, and also rollover. So considerably more testing. And the dummies tested in them, not our little, little man here, but the dummies that they use for the testing have more sensors in yeah. them. So they have sensors all over the body. I think it's over 30 on the newest Q series. Um, and they can test everywhere on the body and see how it's kind of going to affect the child um, in a collision. Katie Louise says, how do you remember all the information for each one? Sometimes we don't. And Sometimes I'm like, we don't. Um, no, I if we remember. need to look it up, we will always look it up. Some of the things we talk, we talk about daily, though, don't we? So we, we might do. be on the phone speaking to somebody, we might have had a video consultation. Um, or the store might have been open. The websites. <laughs> yeah, so we would then be talking about it and you kind of just remember the, the details. But maybe the ones that we don't have a look at, they're the ones that we have to just double check. And so it's quite good as well, though, on most seats. If you don't know how long your car seat lasts, have a look either at the labels on the side, which will let you know, or the yeah, orange ones on the bottom. Don't well. turn it upside down with your child in. Why not? I'm sure it'll be fine. As long as they're fastened in. Oh. Talking about fastening in your child, just one thing to remember, particularly on these chilly days that we've got at the moment, 
that your child should be in their normal indoor clothes. Lots of people go, oh, it's cold, it's cold, let's put on the snowsuit. And back in the 80s, 90s, you've got pictures of children, haven't you, in their infant carrier like this, with their yeah, snowsuit on. But no snowsuits, no thick padded coats. Yeah. What happens in a collision is all those fibres will contract. So they'll get, basically they're going to get squashed and that's going to give you a gap between your harness or your impact shield. Okay, so no coats. Pop them in their normal clothes if they are a bit chilly. Your car will heat up very quickly nowadays unless you've got a very old car. That has no heating. Or, yeah, that has no heating or it's broken. But then wrap blankets up on, on top. top of any kind of harness. That's it. What do you fancy looking at next? Should we go for an older child? Let's go for an older child. So Sarah Jane Frampton said that's fantastic for her little girl. Margaret Jane says Cybex is reliable. Um, Victoria Dance said it'd be a perfect gift for my parents to have in their car ready for, one, our, ready for our little arrival due in the spring. Yeah, absolutely. So that you've also got the Palace B, which is an older R44 seat from Cybex, but you can um, get it. It's a cheaper seat. It's 119.95, but you can often get it cheaper than that as well. Um, this one, like we were saying about the buckle using on your Palace GI size, which makes it a lot easier. This one actually uses the vehicle seat belt to go through and fasten in. So you've then got to reach over the child to press the buckle to let them out and then this just completely comes away so it's not quite as quick or as easy to use but then still has the same um, thinking behind it the child uh, rolls over naturally over the front and then it turns into a high back booster once you remove it and I think a lot of people will go for that shield option if you are blessed with a child who is a Houdini and yeah. undoing their their harness it's a good option for people that have that it's just it's going to stop them escaping their harness. There's sometimes nothing you can do and they're going to keep doing it and keep doing it. But you have got the longevity, even if you're not going to use the shield right the way from the beginning, yeah. even if you're only going to use it for six months, but then you've got your high back booster, which you would be moving into anyway. Yeah. So yeah. it does give quite a lot of um, options there and covers quite a lot of eventualities. Arabella says, um, she's lots of question marks there. You're not allowed to wear a coat. Yep, no coats in your car seats, please. If we can take anything away today, just remember no coats in your car seat. Donna Dane says her mum is telling, keeps telling her off for baby being too cold in the car seat. I've explained the safety, but it goes over her head. Get her on our lives every week. We keep, we keep reiterating. And again, I think it is. Different generations have different views yeah. on car seats, don't they? I mean, let's put it into perspective. I can remember going up and down the A1, being in the boot of our estate car. Yeah. No car seats whatsoever. No seat. No, no seat. No, not yeah. even a seat. Never mind. You know, and my parents were, you know, they're educated, but and in to safety like you would never imagine. But it just wasn't there. But a lot of that generation will almost have the attitude, well, you did it and you're all right. Yeah. Yeah, we weren't in a bad accident. Luckily, yeah, you yeah. didn't have that. Thank goodness we weren't in a bad accident. If we had been in a bad accident, it would, you know, potentially be, be, be on your own, Kelly. <laughs> that would be here. You know, but it is about catering for that awful, awful, awful worst eventuality, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, and the more, the more we advance, the more technology we have, we know what is safer for children. And it's like cars, isn't it? You know, cars, the yeah, technology in cars yeah. has come on so much. Even washing machines and A rating, and we've been looking at washing machines the last few weeks. Blows my mind, blows my mind. <laughs> so this is the Solution Z iFix. So it's an I-size um, high back booster. This is where the technology for the reclining headrest, we first saw that on this seat. So that's uh, there on this seat. So even though you haven't got a recline on this with it being just a high back booster, you've still got it in your headrest, which tips the child back. You've got your side impact protection on the side and you've got your blue, uh, your green even. I can't even tell my colours. Your green belt routing. <laughs> Do you want some help? Oh, uh, what colour is what this? Colour is this? What colour what is, is, is this? Again, you can use this from 100 to 150 centimetres and the whole sides move up and down with the child to protect them in a collision. Um, with this seat, we wouldn't advise putting a child under four years, even if they are 100 centimetres. We wouldn't advise using a high back booster until at least four because they can submarine and slide out from underneath the seatbelt. There's quite a few things you need to look at to make sure they are safe to go in a high back booster with a vehicle seatbelt. And if you're not sure, 
the, moving from your harness seat or your impact shield seat into your high back booster, do get in touch. You know, we are more than happy. You can send us videos, you can send us photographs and things. And these little horns here, little armrests, um, both parts of the belt, this side one is tucked underneath, and that's making sure that it's sitting on the child's um, pelvic pelvis rather than sliding up over their abdomen. And that's a really important thing about checking where your seat belt should go in any high back booster, isn't it? Yeah. Because I think a very, very common mistake with these is to pop it over the horns. Yes, yeah, so both bits may be <clears throat> like that. And particularly and if the child's doing it themselves yeah, as well. That is way in the wrong um, position. It's quite a small area to then be over the abdomen. So if anybody's just joined us, we're showing you how not to fit a car seat at your the green moment. Belt, your green area is where your belt routing needs to go. So that's your Solution Z iFix again, and available in lots of different colours. And the headrest is very, very clever, isn't it? Yeah, you've, you yeah, you've got your recliner headrest. Even though it's uh, back, though, in a collision, it will automatically flick forward. Laura Allen has just joined us, or oh, I don't think she's just joined us, but she's, I've just read her <laughs> question. She may have been with us from the beginning, I don't know. And now I've You've not noticed who's on. I've now dug myself into a whole, big, a whole big hole here. But Laura has said she's struggling with her Cloud Z recline function. It seems really stiff. Can you show how it works so she can check she's doing it properly? So, I'll just, it's a bit easier <laughs> sitting on. There is a little bit of a knack to it. You kind of have to go and then down. Yeah, you kind of squeeze. Squeeze up, in down. and drop it rather than just trying to pull it straight down. So kind of push up and drop down. See and if they that helps. Do get easier with use, don't they? I mean, yeah. like anything, the more you use it, the more it goes. And once you've kind of got that knack, it's yeah. easy, isn't it? Yeah. But, but if you're not helps. sure, Laura, do get in touch and we can help you. The same with anything, if, you, if you're after the next stage car seat or looking at infant carriers, if you want to book a video consultation, we do those seven days a week, so even if you can't do it in the week, we do offer them on Saturdays and Sundays, and we are more than happy to help with those. Should we go back to our prize? Shall we go back to our prize? Should we pull him to the middle? Mm -hmm. Come on, Chucky. Right. Um, <laughs> Daniel Danny has joined us. Will this fit for my girlfriend? She may be 24, but she acts like a two-year-old. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends, depends well, it on depends her weight. <laughs> if she is over 50 kilos and over uh, 150 centimetres. So get a, get a measured <laughs> weight and, and we'll let you get know. Get a measured. Zara says, if I book a consultation appointment, can you check the car seat is fitted properly in the car? Yes, what we would recommend, first of all, Zara, is send some photographs and uh, maybe a quick video to our Facebook page as well. We can always do a quick WhatsApp call with you as well if we are unsure. So no problem, we are. Obviously, we can't physically um, invite you in for us to be able to check your car seats. So we are doing the next best thing. And if we will always, always, <coughs> always err on the side of caution, even if it is a right, can you take it out, pop it back in again, and we're going to watch as you do it. And if we've got any questions, they might seem like bizarre questions, but we will ask as many questions to make sure that we are happy that you have fitted your car seat safely. It's perhaps the most important thing you will do for your little one. Mm. So the prize today is the Cybex Palace G i-size car seat. Um, looks a little bit different to what you may be used to because from 15 months up to 105 centimetres, a maximum of 21 kilos, you use an impact shield to secure your child rather than a five-point harness. Um, some people are not as keen on that use. Um, we would always promote rear facing for as long as possible, but there are plenty of parents, as we've said before, that decide to forward face sooner. So for them, this is an option for them to keep their child safer. And there, are, there can be some very good reasons why people want to forward face as well. Yeah. And we spoke earlier about how the impact shield really does come to its, into its own if you have a child who is a Houdini. Yeah. There is nothing worse than bombing along the motorway at exactly 70 miles an hour, never any faster, please, never any faster. And then you hear this click. Yeah. And you can't pull over, you can't slam on your brakes, or 
it's tightened, so they can't, you can't even say fasten it back in yourself because they're not going to be able to loosen it, so then fasten it to tighten it. So for our Houdini children, and yeah. often they will purchase this not that long before they're going into, they're a little bit older before they're going into that high yeah. back booster. So, how the impact shield works is, pop your little one in, you need to make sure that the pop headrest... Pop your little one in, it's a little bit... <laughs> I don't think you popped him in, I think you threw him in. It's level or two centimetres difference with the child's shoulders. And then you, both sides buckle in, so it doesn't matter which side you are, but it just means you can leave one side of the shield in, pop this over the child, tuck it into position underneath there. It's adjustable, so it does grow with your child, so you can tighten or it to where they chubber, need it to be. As you say. Yeah. So you can fasten it in. Obviously, an older child or a bigger child is going to have it further out, but for our tester, We've renamed him Darren, so we named him Darren earlier. So that he's nice and secure in there and you've got some adjustability so that it does grow with them from 76 to 105 centimetres. And you'll notice that he isn't wearing a snowsuit or he a coat. He is definitely not. If he's cold, he'll just have to make do. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not very sympathetic. <laughs> We've both got three children. They'll be yeah. fine. No, be he fine. Can, we can tuck a blanket around there or just put the heating on in the car. Yeah. He'll be fine. So you've got your adjustable headrest there, so if they are napping, you can just pop that back. You've also got your one-handed recline as well, that you can use right up to when using it as a high-back booster. R129 are eye-size seats, so it has been higher tested for side impact. Use, you've got your LSP, <laughs> linear side impact protection on the Sorry, side. I'm not laughing at you. You better not be. No, no, I'm not laughing at you. Sorry, you're doing a very, very good job of demonstrating Thank you. our Cybex Palace G eye size. But Arabella Kerrigan, and I, this is why I've interrupted you, she said, are his toes cold? She can knit socks. Oh, they are a little bit cold. They are a little actually. bit cold, yeah. Arabella. You better get knitting. Poor old, love some socks. Poor old uh, Chucky there. Jamie Lee Turner, we were talking earlier about uh, children undoing their harness on the motorway. She says, it happened to us in France on the motorway. No stopping allowed. 120 kilometres per hour. I've never cried so much in my life. She thought it was hilarious. Yeah, the kids do, yeah, don't they? Do. They don't understand the danger, no. do they? So how the impact shield is, the child naturally... Um, rolls over the impact shield, it acts like an airbag and it covers quite a big area so the force is spread out over rather than being one point um, over their tummy. It's quite a wide area covering completely across. They roll over and then just roll naturally back again. It can reduce the neck injuries by 40% so it's quite a big difference between a harness forward facing seat, we not talking about rear facing harness seats because they work very differently, the child is pushed into the seat rather than forwards, so um, rear facing seats not included in that, but forward-facing harness seat, um, neck injuries is all there because that's the only bit that can move. Vicky Spillane says, Darren is very compliant. Darren is, is our, our, our um, model here, just in case you've just joined boy, us. You're a very good boy, aren't you? She, um, when, you when we put him in, she hopes her child is the same. Yeah. Are, are all children not like him? To be honest, though, my youngest, I've, I know lots of children go for a stage not wanting to go in the car seat. Tristan's have, been, always been pretty good. Have you got the perfect child? No, no, it's very naughty in other ways, but, <laughs> but with car seats, I don't know whether it's because there's never been a choice with any of, all three of them. This is your car seat, you're going to your car seat, there's not a choice. So Kelly reviews the, uh, the majority of our car seats, so her children <laughs> have tried a number of car yeah, seats. Yeah, they're used to going in different ones. I suppose that helps because some children, they get used to being in one seat and that's it. So if you then go and choose in a different seat, it can be a bit... They don't like it. The other thing to bear in mind for your shield as well, talking about, um, somebody asked about grandparents, is it's very easy to adjust from one grandchild to another, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. And as well, it's, it's probably easier to fasten this, just two buckles and tighten, um, than clipping a harness together and popping in. So ease of use. So if grandparents have got arthritis or yeah. something like that. Yeah. They've not got to, you get a small buckle together and into your, you just popping it both in there. No re-threading of harnesses with heights with different grandchildren. No. So perhaps a little bit more user-friendly, particularly for our grandparents. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, um, Cybex um, used the Impact Shield and they've used it over the Palace series and their Serona series as well. So they, the previous Serona C used an Impact Shield um, for forward facing rather than a harness like the Z does. Um, and they've all tested very well. So ADAC testing as well, which is a harder thing to get good results on. Um, one of the palace seats got a 2.1, which is a good score. So the lower the better. So 
they, they score well as well and we're, we're keen to find out how this because it's a brand new seat it's not been tested by edit yet but it will it will be i'm sure and i'm sure it will perform really well and the thing to remember about ADAC is the brands cannot say, right, I'd like you to test this seat because we think it's going to do really well. But no. I don't want you to test that one because we don't think it'll do no. as well. They don't have any choice over the seats that no, are No, they pick the they? ones that, that, that they find um, popular and that they want to test. So Emily Newton says this would be great for my mother-in-law who struggles with the uh, straps. Mm. Debbie asked... Yeah, there's no twist in the straps either. That's another thing that no. happens quite a lot. We get a lot of people getting in touch saying, my harness strap's twisted. Sometimes it can be inside the seat, which is a nightmare to untwist. Ashley Crowley, obviously late to the party this morning. We go live just about 11 o'clock, Ashley, just in case you didn't know. But what's the giveaway today? This is the Palette Cybex Palace G I size car seat, suitable from 15 months up to 150 centimetres, so it will last as long as your child needs to be in a high-back booster. Debbie is a it's different Debbie. We've got lots of Debbies today. Debbie Petit, who has shared, thank you very much, Debbie, has said, how do you fix the Palace G? So the Palace G is using, when you're using the impact shield, it's with your Isofix points, which are just here and green, and also top tether stops any rotation of the seat. So you have to use both when you're using your impact shield. It's optional when you move into high back booster mode. But obviously, if you start it like that, you might as well just carry on and keep it Yeah, it's added security. And in the car. The reason you have your isofix points in a high back booster is to keep the seat in one position if you've not got a child in it, so they're not belted yeah. in. Because otherwise, if you were in an accident, your seat couldn't, if you rolled your car, your seat could fly around your car, which obviously is gonna cause damage to other passengers. So that's going to keep it into position. Now we can see it in its high back booster mode. So once we've moved on, so round about, depending on your child, Round about the age of four, you're going to move into your high back booster mode with this seat. 105 centimetres and a maximum of 21 kilos is your impact shield usage. So 21 kilos is a high usage it's, yeah, as well, it's isn't it? higher than your standard um, 18 kilo harness. You wouldn't have that belt twisted, it's just because it's on the rig. It doesn't sit quite right. So now we've got it in the high back booster mode. Those of you who've just joined us, this goes up to 150 centimetres. Mm -hmm. In the UK, the law is 135 centimetres. Little one must be in um, a car seat. However, in many different countries, the law is 150 centimetres. So if you are travelling outside the UK, we definitely recommend that you get a seat that is going to be longer lasting, and go up to that 150 centimetres. Or even the here, same, just to allow you to, to yeah, use it longer. The same here, if you've got a child, particularly if you've got a tall child, that will allow you to use your seat for longer. Pregnant pause there, did you notice? We're good at those, we're good at those. Yeah. We're like, um, what are we going to do next? What are we going to talk about next? Kelly Signorelli Chaplin, I think that's a bit of Italian there, what do you think? <laughs> 21 kilograms for your impact shield yeah. is great. Yes, it is nicer. Philippa Hunt says, we've just answered her question about high back booster mode. I did have Good. a question about the sides, again, about these being flexible yeah. as well. Because I think so it takes, not only can it fit in a smaller gap than you might be able to fit other ones in that uh, don't uh, flex as much, but it also takes some of the energy on a collision as well. So Kate, Suzanne Dice says, I've never seen a top tether, we'll have to check my car. Yeah. You wouldn't necessarily know about a top tether until you need to know. No, it's you, just little, little, um, it's like your ice fix bar, but one in the boot. And it's got a little, it's kind of like a hooking um, image on it. So don't get it confused with your luggage hooks, which you can get in some cars as well. So we now need to imagine that Chucky is a little bit older. Um, Margaret Jones says, Grandma, are you watching? Hi, Grandma, if you're watching. Hi, Grandma. See, it's nice. We've got lots of people watching us today. Um, I'm just scrolling down. We've got lots of comments. If I have missed your comment or your question, please do feel free to get in touch with us after our live. We're more than happy to help with any questions about car seats or anything else. Gemma <coughs> says, do the sides make it really wide? She's got three seats to get across the back. I think so, what she's meaning, can, can, are we okay to move those? Yeah, so they can come in a little bit if you need a bit more room. And you can also remove your side impact. Um, I had to, when I was testing, it must be how my seats sit close to the vehicle door. I had to remove one side so that the door didn't hit it. Um, even though I've got three full-size seats on the back, so it's not like I don't have the room, but it just must sit a little bit closer and I had to remove it for that. But if you 
can and don't need to remove it, leave them on because it's adding an extra 20% um, to reduce the energy into the side of the seam. Hannah Hamid says, do you face each other every morning and decide what to wear? Because I love how you two are always coordinated. Well, we don't really have any choice in here, Rob, do we? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> and I, I think uh, jeans and boots are uh, just, it's the weather outside, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, the boots. Still got sludgy snow about. The boots so that we don't fall. A over T <laughs> outside, which would not be hilarious. But we do, we do, we do come in different tops in the morning. We just uh, change into our polo shirts, don't we? Just for, just for, just for you guys, just for filming. But we are going to be having a new uniform. I was just going to say, I was going to say, do anybody, does anybody out there have any design new uniforms? Yeah. What do you think we should wear as our new uniform, both in store and um, on camera? And we've got our fleeces on. So it's a bit cold today, isn't it? It's cold in here. And if we go out in the normal circumstances, fitting car seats, we need something to keep us a little bit more snug. Yeah. But I think we're thinking hoodies. Yeah. Hoodies, I think, you know, hoodies. Let us know. Do you think T-shirts or polo shirts? What do you think about polo shirts? What do you think about T-shirts? Are you team T-shirt or team polo um, shirt? Team T-shirt. I think polo shirts, I don't know, they're just not old-fashioned, but they're well, a you bit... say I'm obviously older than you because I'm team polo <laughs> shirts. So, <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll just go and sit Is, in is anybody then. voting? Um, it takes a little while for it to come through. Zara Cave says no snow boots today. No. no, no snow boots today. I did wear my snow boots for filming the pream last week. Got a little week, bit though. of fluff on. Yeah, keep, keep <laughs> you got warm. fluffy boots, haven't you? Fluffy, yeah. Yeah, definitely got fluffy boots. Laura Ann Coxon says uh, she's checking for top tether in her Volkswagen T Cross. I think I'm going to. I'm. I'd say yes. With it being I a would newer say car. yes. Yeah. But, but obviously, if you want to double check. check. Take a picture, and we can um, always check for you as well. L R Willis on. Ask how many colours is our Palace G eye size available in? Eight colours. Eight. Do you and have a favourite? shoes. I really like this because I like the turquoise detailing. Um, <laughs> some people, probably the most popular is going to be deep black because people like black car seats, don't they? Um, I do, but do you see, I this would is so go grey gray. because I think black shows all the marks. Yeah, yeah, I true. definitely do. Yeah. Tasha Turner has joined us this morning and she shared. Thank you very much, Tash. Good morning. She, good, good morning, good Tash. Afternoon. She said good Cybex t-shirt. I wonder oh, why. Oh, yeah. that'd be If you send us some, maybe we'll wear it on Cybex days. <laughs> maybe. Uh, Amelia says polo, and I'm not reading any more out in case I lose. <laughs> <laughs> She's telling it 1-0 then. Are you like, well, how are you doing that? Um, Arabella says no, yellow. Yellow is a happy colour. There isn't a yellow. And there she says a t-shirt, not a polo, but I'm just ignoring oh, the end of Arabella's you, comment. <laughs> yeah, but would yellow, we need to have our pushchair expert green. Oh, was that yellow she would choose for a car seat yes. or yellow for it, us? Us, I think. Oh, okay. Well, our colour is pushchair expert green and oh. grey. <laughs> Debbie says t-shirt, can't stand the collar. Okay, fine. I'm outvoted then. <laughs> I'm outvoted. <laughs> ah, De the other Debbie, however, yeah. says polo shirts for uniforms look nice. I think it just, they can become scruffy, can't they? Like your collars can go a bit skew if your buttons come undone. Yeah, and? <laughs> polo shirts are a bit smarter, says Kelly Signorelli Chaplin. Emma, Emily Burton, polos. Charlie Lesk, t-shirt and hoodie. Uh, Danny Martin says something brighter. Yeah, we're a bit fed up of grey, aren't we? Yeah. So, so if we went... Uh, what, I'm just expert green. <laughs> I'm just like, disappear. And just blend it in. We can blend in. Yeah, we could do that. We could yeah. do that. Anyway, meanwhile, back to our Palace G, G. eye size from Cybex. Um, Jessica Cave says, when you purchase the Palace, do you get the Isofix base as a package? It's not an Isofix base. Let me uninstall. And I shall show you. So what happens with, often your infant carriers, you have a base and your infant carrier, your seat to go on it. As your child gets older, they are often all incorporated into your seat. Jamie Lee Turner didn't even know about two tether, but I think she means top tether, until today. So every day is an education, as So you say. know you have your support leg, which we had on the base set. It's just doing the same thing. So you'd either have a support leg or a top tether. Um, and it just stops the rotation of the car seat in a collision rather than just being held on by one point. It's actually add, it's an extra point to hold on. So your ice fix points are separate. So you can do one side and then you can do the other side, which then also when you tighten it in, depending on the shape of your seat, it makes sure you get a perfect fit. And then just push it on so it connects. So as you can see, this is connected. It's part of the seat. It's not a base. Push it and it will automatically 
lock in to the tightest position. Pass this through. Now, don't go over your headrest. Go through the headrest and just go over the top of the seat because this can have some movements and a collision. It's not going to be quite as secure as just going to be seat. Little hook, which at the minute is uh, red, and then once it's tight enough, it turns to green. So you're going to find your uh, top tether point in your car, clip it on, and tighten until you get your green. And that's it installed. So then, really, really easy. And I think your yeah. top tether, some people try and pull it too tight, don't they? So then it just has the opposite Ooh. effect and moves the seat too much. You want to just do it until it just turns green. Sorry, I'm going in between our comments about our uniform and now back to the car Classy. seat that we're talking about. Those people who've just joined us, today we are talking about car seats, but we're in particular have been looking at some of the Cybex range of seats. Cybex do a massive range of seats and they can be a bit confusing. So if you are confused about the Cybex range or any of the other brands, um, you know, do get yeah, want to narrow it down to the best car seat for you. Yeah, it's, it's about finding, and there will be some differences. <clears throat> some of them are small differences, some of them are large differences. But when you start talking about S and G and things like that, it does get a little bit confusing, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. Um, you just reminded me then when you said about that, you can, your um, Palace G also has uh, ventilation holes throughout the seat as well, which helps keep them cool. And not sweaty in sweaty the warmer Sweaty Bessies. Because some children are very sweaty in their car seats, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are. And you can see as well how much adjust... It's not as easy to see with the, the dummy in there, but you can see how much adjustability that is. That is on the loosest setting, so there's plenty of room for a bigger child. Obviously, you're not going to have a child as small as that, but then you can tighten right up for a smaller, say, 15-month-old. But like I said, this is about um, freedom of choice. Rear facing, we would always advise to rear face for as long as possible, but if you are going to forward face, an impact shield is a good option to go for. So if we've got lots of questions coming in. Sophie Shopton said, have we heard of iSafe car seats? Are they a good brand? Do, they, do we stock them? We don't stock um, iSafe, but we do stock Cybex, we stock Britax, we stock Joy, Joy we stock Silver Cross. Do you say Max Cozy? Uh, no, Maxi <laughs> we Cozy? stock Maxi Cozy. Um, so there are a number of car be seats. Be safe, did you say be safe? No, I didn't say be safe be either. Safe. Axe Kid. Yeah, there's lots, lots, but no, we don't stock iSafe, it I am It tends to be afraid. a cheaper Option. brand, I think, and I'm not sure how they test, just because we not don't stock them, I've not really looked into it, so I'm not sure. So we've got a few questions about the price of the Cybex Palace G I size. I have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> Please pass me a question. Where is me? Two hundred fifty-four ninety-five. Sorry about that. <laughs> but remember, that. we will always price match if you find it cheaper anywhere else. Um, Jody has said her son's asked if they do a dinosaur print seat. No, 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 no. Sorry, sorry. But they do do some very safe seats. So um, dinosaur T-shirt maybe, and a nice safe seat. So don't be drawn by uh, you know. Elsa seats and things like that. So let's have a look at the safety. Um, Danny Martin says, another great demo and explanation. Thank you, ladies. I think that's Thank our cue to should we draw the winner? What do you think? <laughs> that's enough now. You've told us about the seat. Let's draw the winner. Yeah, absolutely. So if you have any questions about these car seats or any other car seats that are available or push chairs or baby carriers or anything, please do get in touch. We have our video consultations, which are available seven days a week with one of our product specialists. So if you want to know, want to see how things are fitted in, in cars, please do get in touch. We go live every day, round about 11 o'clock. Every weekday. Every weekday. <laughs> yes, I know, I always interrupt that. Yeah, every weekday, round about 11 o'clock. Don't wait for it on a Saturday and Sunday, 11 o'clock, because I might still be in bed. Well, I might not be, because <laughs> I might be here. But we go live every weekday, round about 11 o'clock. Each day we give away a prize, lots of different things that people are going to need at some point during their journey into parenthood. Tomorrow, we have got an amazing prize to give away. We are giving away one of our X Display Oyster 3. Oh, you didn't let me drum roll. Oh, sorry, drum roll. That's right. Baby Style Oyster 3 up for grabs tomorrow. So make sure you join us tomorrow. So, oh, quick question before I go on yep. Draw the Winner. Ruth Tripp says, do all high-back boosters need a top tether? No. 
So you don't have to use a top tether um, for high back booster because what secures the child and the seat in a high back booster is your vehicle seat belt. Um, this needs to be used with the Isofix and your top tether when using the impact shield. Can use it all the time as well, but for high back booster mode, it's, it, you can, it's optional. So let's draw our winner. We yep. draw our winner live at the end of every show. So, show. show. You know, Kelly live. and Joy morning show, Georgia and um, Laura or Georgia and Kirsty show. I know, it could be whatever, yeah. the push chair expert yeah. show. So all I'm going to do is I am going to scroll. To enter, all you need to have done is pass a comment this morning and you need to be in the UK in order for us to ship to you. A bit, so, um, I can't remember what word I was going to say. So we just draw the winner. Yeah, yeah. So, um... Drum roll, please. Right, I'm going to scroll. Oh, no, I'm not doing a drum roll for the entire time. Cause yeah, I you are, because that will make you do it. I'm going up and down. I'm being a bit... Today, I'm going up and down, and then up and up and up and up and down Stop. and down. Okay. Today, our winner is... Da, 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 Heidi Smith. Congratulations, well Heidi. Heidi Smith. So, you are our winner. You've got a choice of a colour. You have to be in the UK. I'm just writing congratulations. Can't talk and you do it. You can have a look time. on the website um, for your colour choices, Heidi. They are on the shop.pushtoexpert.com website. Um, but you just need to Facebook message us and we can send you a link if you need it as well. We will need your address and your mobile phone number to send it out on the courier. You will get a one hour delivery slot, as everybody does with any of our courier deliveries. But, but <clears throat> they're not here yet. So once they oh. arrive, we will then ship to you. Yeah. But, <laughs> but, but, but. You will still get it, but once because yeah. it's a new seat, um, this is our review one. But once they arrive, we'll then send you. Yeah, not out. having this one, sorry. No. So well done, Heidi. Thank you everybody for joining us today. Any car seat questions you have, please do get in touch. We're rather passionate about car seat safety, as you've probably gathered. Make sure you join us tomorrow. Tomorrow we are going to be having a look at the very popular baby style oyster three. And we have one to give away. So we're giving away a push chair tomorrow. What could be better than that? So make sure you join us. Stay safe, everybody. And we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.